Right, okay, let's go again. <clears throat> Choking on Diet Coke here. Um, <clears throat> Type players on today. Uh, I'm doing this guy. Who capital T? 112. Not small T. <laughs> capital T. Get the type players. Um, 112. 2072. Stigmatist. 1965. Okay. Is he ready? Who's a stigma test? It's been announced two one two nine. Let's see if I can play this scene a bit better. Ah, he's gonna play bishop b five. Can I feel justified for e5 though here? Hmm. And I've got control of d5 a little bit. e5 and h6? Or oh, just e6? Oh, I think I might just try for e6 this time. Um, mind you, I'm not walking straight into e5. Or oh, bishop f6. Mind you, g takes f6. I don't have to lose d6 just yet. Hmm. This can go for that. So queen e5, rook c8. A little bit of play. Do I say? Um, I retain the bishop with bishop d7 for a sec. And maybe rook the a and b5. Trying to generate uh, queenside counterplay. And b5 is walking into something very nasty. So I we'll get, better get the queen back somewhere. Um, knight d5. If I just put the queen back on d8 for a sec, or knight b5. Does it matter if I lose a7? It'll still be a count by the a file. So a6 and b5 or just b5 straight off the bat, I think. So g5, that might be knight h5. Could be useful. So the claw into these dark squares. That's b4 and queen a5 again. Okay. I don't like this as white when black plays knight h5. Invariably I lose, so. I'll try that's black. I h5. Blocks the h pawn, so it slows down the attack. I know it's knight on the rim is dim, but um, this might be a case where the knight on the rim is actually slowing down the attack as well. <laughs> so I can get in my b4. The knight, this might lose back, then queen a5. And take king b1. There may be a d5 later to try and open up this diagonal and take some bishop e6. Try and get on a2 later with d5. Okay, there's also there's also potentially knight g3 for e4 attack. Okay, not here. Getting d5 now. Or um or never d5. If e5, maybe g6. If takes, uh, maybe queen d5 on the diagonal. <clears throat> queen a4 here. I don't mind losing d5. Get this diagonal open on a2. Yeah, a bit of counterplay. Queen a5, queen can go back to c6. 
Oh, there's also bishop c6 just winning the exchange anyway. There's knight g3 to e4 here for knight c3 could be useful. Holds on and make sure knight f5 isn't supported. Actually, the queen could just take that. Whoops. Blunder. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'm, I'm resorting now to rook a6. Whoops. Ah, big whoops. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's have the queen first. Uh, is that another bad idea? Uh, okay. Uh, try and point things at the king, I suppose, before it's too late. If I get play rook c8. There's nothing points at the king for maybe bishop d4. <sighs> Not ideal. Just plundering a piece like that. Not ideal. Um. Remember, Bishop takes B two here. Queen A three. Rook C two. Bishop B two. And um, Queen's actually supporting D seven here. So if I play bishop b2 in check and rook c2, is that any good? Desperate counterattack? Or is it logical? And there's also bishop c6 to think about. So bishop c6. Or if I double up rooks for rook c2, wouldn't that be dangerous? I think that would actually. There's queen a5 spawning the fun if that. Oops, queen a5. So what about bishop c6 first? Let's win this rook. I'll try and play rook c6 without queen a5. Or even bishop e4. I guess. Oh, it's back row issue. Oh dear. Uh, I take and take and take on a3 while winning back a piece. Material situation is um, not too bad, is it? Rook versus two knights. Um. Should have maybe considered the other options there as well. But I don't know, two knights against the brook, okay. Uh, try and win these pawns. Can I win one of these pawns? Will the knights hover over? I can get past the H pawn. That would be fun. I think there's some missing ingredients, you know, for how I was playing Sicilians. Uh, before. Well, I think the Shvezhnikov is a bit too uh, committal anyway for D5 weakness. Uh, but maybe, you know, other variations are worth exploring. Okay, so um, <clears throat> what's going on here? Am I going to be losing a rook soon? Probably. Uh, 35 seconds. So I want to push my jeep on that. These knights are becoming a menace. Uh, so he's on F7. He's only got 26 seconds. My rooks don't seem too bad for a moment. Uh, 20 seconds, okay. So g4. He's dropped a knight. Okay, can I try and win that pawn? 
Um, if I play f5 for a sec, I was not h6. Right, if I throw in a check for rook c2, rook e2, let's try and get rook c2. I'm trying to get a rook behind the pawn. It's not doing too brilliantly on the clock. How can I win this knight? Okay, and two rooks versus queen. I don't mind that scenario. I hope. I hope I'm not losing a rook immediately. Get the rooks connected for rook g a five. Resigned. That was quite exciting. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sidelines as, as well was another thing off putting me uh, playing Sicilian before. Uh, well, at some point, I switched to the French. Uh, but here, yeah, I wouldn't recommend just losing a piece like this. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, this is a typical five minute uh, terrible blunder. Uh, so. If that knight was kept there, that would have been brilliant. You know, rook b6, store plan, rook a6, dangerous plan. Uh, very nice plan, actually, rook b6 to a6, maybe. But as it was, I mean, even here, even here, rook a6. Knight c1, I don't know. So somehow I got some counterplaying with this 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 uh, move here bishop takes b4 if i take and then queen d8 i have got access to f8 so i can take and then isn't that just a whole bishop and rook no i'm losing a rook so it's just that's maybe what i played is okay comments or questions on youtube uh thanks very much cheers and maybe this game will be on chessmold.net or with a replayable game on the videos menu at some point Thanks so much.